So a stone uh, construct, uh, again, a, a statue, a fortress, a temple, could be a thousand years old, they could be a hundred thousand years old. The best way to date something that is exposed to the elements is, is by looking at the weathering patterns. And I just want to quickly talk about the Sphinx here, which is one of the largest monolithic constructions on the planet. And not the largest, but one of the largest, because it's actually hewn out of bedrock. So it wasn't made somewhere and placed there. It was carved out of the bedrock. Okay, so this falls well within the scope of the megalithic builders. Robert Schoch, a Harvard-trained uh, geologist, uh, looked at it and, and examined it. It's an old story. I'm sure everybody knows it. But he came up with, uh, with a scientific fact in his mind that the weathering the Sphinx had experienced was, in fact, a rain or water weathering. Not wind, not sand, but the specific weathering marks on the Sphinx uh, are, are water weathering from, from heavy rainfalls. And not with, again, interestingly, most of the, for the most of the time that we've known of the Sphinx, it was buried up to its neck in sand.